why, why don't you walk our, our viewers through, through um, sort of what, what we learned from the allegation then what we learned at the actual uh, hearing that ended up taking place? Because as people remember, Dr. Ford and then, then Judge Kavanaugh both came and, and actually testified in front of the Senate Judiciary Committee about this. What sort of emerged from that, do you think? Well, it was an incredibly tense hearing, I can tell you that. Yeah. Uh, it was emotional. Uh, you know, Dr. Ford came across as sincere to most of us in the room. Uh, but what struck me about her testimony was there was nothing new there in the sense of providing additional corroboration, additional evidence, or credible evidence that Brett Kavanaugh did what she said he did. And in fact, some of her testimony suggested that she had an alternative agenda and knew that her testimony uh, didn't ring true. And so I, I ended up thinking, well, she, you know, she made a sincere case and, and had a political, there was a political issue for the confirmation as a result, at least after she finished testifying. Uh, but upon any reflection or consideration, her cases collapsed. And sure enough, Dr. Uh, Judge Kavanaugh came out, uh, made a strong uh, case in favor of himself, adamantly denied these allegations. And uh, when you've got someone saying it didn't happen, and you have someone saying years after the fact it did with no corroboration, it's only fair to basically uh, uh, cast aside the charges in a way that doesn't prevent him from being uh, confirmed. And in fact, that's what ended up happening. You know, the FBI was brought in after the fact to interview some of the witnesses uh, that supposedly might have known what happened. Nothing was corroborative of what she said. And of course, these two other claims, uh, one uh, about another sexual assault, another one alleging gang rape, uh, you know, just on their face uh, weren't credible. So uh, the problem here is you had this new way of thinking by the left that we're going to take the Stalinist approach. We're going to make accusations, no evidence, and demand you disprove them. I mean, that's, that's the Alice in Wonderland backwards approach uh, to uh, any, any sense of fair due process if the Senate's going to follow that process. And uh, the fact that they got away with it and almost took out a nominee because of it ought to give us all pause. And on top of that, they had their leftist allies out in the hallways threatening senators uh, in a violent way, assaulting them, uh, intimidating, and, and uh, just making a mockery of the institution of the Senate. And they wanted to overthrow the Senate in many ways. And thankfully it didn't work, but it was a close front thing. Yeah, and it, it was very close. Now, we, we've talked a little bit about what, uh, what Senate Democrats did. Um, if, if we could talk a little bit about the media's role um, in this, because you mentioned, you know, Dr. Ford's story ended up coming out in the Washington Post, and then you mentioned the, the other stories. Um, one in the New Yorker, and then one that I'm not even sure if it really even got published anywhere specifically. But what did you think about the, the way that the, the media handled um, the initial allegation, the subsequent allegations, and then sort of this dive into the yearbook and all of this sort of thing? What do, what do, what do you think about how the media handled Well, there were propaganda outlets for their liberal allies who wanted to destroy Judge Kavanaugh. I mean, the left has decided that uh, there are no rules apply here. Journalists, through uh, many left-wing journalists, through any r supposed rules they follow out the window. Uh, you had that terrible New Yorker piece. You had CNN almost running 24/7 uh, these gang rape allegations. Uh, you know, and typically you wouldn't run material like that without corroborating evidence. But all you needed to say was something bad about Judge Kavanaugh, and you got on the news. And uh, that was really outrageous. And uh, so the t Senate took a blow. Our Republican institution of the Senate took a blow. I mean, Republican with a small r. Mm -hmm. And journalism took a blow here, too, uh, because the veil has been lefted for those who kind of, uh, those few Americans who are oblivious to it, uh, that much of the mainstream media uh, are uh, partisan and leftists. And if they uh, have a, an agenda to get you, all the rules go out the window. And, um, and you know, I'd, I'd like to, but one thing I'd like to see is Justice Kavanaugh sue the heck out of everybody. 
who <laughs> defamed him. Now, it's unlikely he'll do something like that as a Supreme Court justice, uh, but it's, that's why they do what they do, because they think they can get away with it. So our job at Judicial Watch is to uh, use the tools available to us under the law to hold them accountable.